In today's manufacturing world, productivity and quality are at the center of any success story. Many companies are finding the key to success lies in the ability to recognize potential ergonomic safety problems and correct them by changing the workplace design. At the Liberty Mutual Research Center in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, the focus is on understanding ergonomic concerns and finding ways to intervene before a problem occurs. With 13 labs running continuously, researchers simulate real working conditions and measure the related stress. The center is the only one of its kind in America. For the last six years, the center has been researching a major concern, slips and falls. This year, 4,000 people will suffer a fatality from a fall on a level surface. We and our customers find out that removing the cause of accident uh, and injury uh, goes right to the bottom line uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, in the workers' compensation system, of course, basically what you pay is based upon your experience. How many people are injured drives up the premium. Fewer people injured, the better their premium rates. So we see a direct saving. Um, additionally, you've got to consider uh, the whole rationale of ergonomics. Ergonomics is really the study of human performance, of which health and safety is one aspect. The classic example here is, is you walk into a manufacturing plant and you see one person picks something up from the ground, he does something with it and puts it back on the ground, and then someone else picks it up. The real question is, how much money should we spend on having someone do something as dumb as that, when very often a, a stillage a table, uh, a storage rack would reduce the effort required, would speed the process, and will make the employment of that individual worker much more effective. A successful ergonomic safety program fits the human operator and results in improved performance, higher productivity, and lower injuries in the workplace.